Hello, hello, everybody. It's your boy Profshop. And y'all wanted it. So it's happening, okay? Y'all wanted to see the super cursed gun, gun images. So let's make it happen, okay? Let's make it happen. I'm interested in what kind of crazy shit we're gonna see, but let's, let's... just time. I'm not ready. Kyle, I'm in need of your guidance. I don't know if I can do this alone. We seen. He's not a stone out of the deal. Okay, Kyle is rushing. Exactly okay. what to do. Kyle is rushing. Okay. Get some vodka. Now, I think I'm ready for cursed gun images. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? We are back for another Ruski installment standard. of what seems to be your favorite and my least favorite. Oh, that's not the first segment, part. Cursed gun images. Things seem oh. to be reopening all over the country, so oh, hopefully... Oh, yeah, yeah, who drinks vodka with ice? Come on, buddy, warm from the bottom. You guys are staying safe and not getting the coof. Once again, we have gathered quite a collection Drinking of vodka in the most cursed dress. gun images all over the internet. Just heinous, heinous things that make my eyes very sad and my pee-pee flaccid. Every single one of these Fair was enough. either gathered from the hashtag cursed gun images on Instagram or from the Discord under the cursed gun images tab. Now, none of the ones that were sent to my DMs were used in this. Uh, that is because I told you not to do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> If you want to get your submissions in, okay. Instagram hashtag cursed gun <laughs> images or on the Discord, which is linked in the pinned comment. God, I'm sorry. Every time we do these, I have a borderline aneurysm by the end. So let's let's see what we can do to me today. My therapist, the A4K7 isn't real. What the? F ha where did where is the true? Why is the trigger out front? How? Oh boy. It's real, it can't oh, hurt you. The A4K7. It is real, and judging by that drum, it can hurt you 75 times. So, this is a Chinese AK. You can tell with the rivet pattern in the trunnion. Has some shitty gas tube rail up top. Uh, really, actually, excellently crafted lower handguard that took a lot of work out of wood that's that is that is a lot of that is a lot of very very intricate woodwork uh too bad it is heinous <laughs> i'm just now noticing that the bullpup portion of the uh the little butt plate there it actually looks like it was based on an ak what? stock so that might have they might have sacrificed one for that and they added a drum and a walmart one. i knew we were going to start out with this one because you have been sending this to me non-stop for the last three months to the point where I think we had to make a Discord rule about using this exact one because I have no shit. I thought about screenshotting them all. I've probably gotten this a few hundred times. And the, the way people preface this before sending it to me is always hilarious to me. I'm so sorry to make you look at this. No, you're not, bitch. You just DM'd it to me. There you go. I talked no, about it. I went over it. You can stop sending it now, please. All right, this bad boy's kind of interesting. This seems to be a big ass revolver. It looks like a revolver cut in half. Where's the front part of it? How is this gonna shoot? And I hope to God those are. If, this is pretty cool. This is rad. If this if this is a flare launcher, this is the coolest thing ever. A flare I would launcher? love to have one. If this is not in fact a flare launcher and this actually shoots a solid projectile, then um, uh, goodbye wrist. Absolute wrist destroyer. And I love how the guy holding it's just in a very prim and proper suit. Some fucking gangster, mob boss. About to lay down the heat with a flare gun. On the technical side here, if if the color's anything to go by, it looks like this might be brass framed. Like the whole thing, the cylinder and everything's made of brass. So I would I would say flare launcher because usually brass can't handle some of the higher pressure stuff. Like a lot of the oh. old cap and ball revolvers and stuff. Uh, if you're going to be running modern loads out of it, you need to go to steel frame because the brass frame will modern load will warp. So sorry, I'm I'm sorry, hoping sorry, this sorry. is flares. Okay, that is That's just Tommy gun. That's just but shit. Without the Tommy. Uh, what did they do? What? So they removed the back end and put up some different stock. I think it looks like it's about to break any second, the stock. Why? 
That's a Tommy gun, right? Well, not, not anymore. Now it's like that a Britney gun. A Britney gun. Is just. <laughs> That's just shit. Oh, sorry. Stop trying to make sorry. California legalization cool. California. It's not cool. I can almost appreciate the attempt because a lot of work went into this. It's the blend of plastic and wood that I, I, I think is so weird because this almost might have worked. I think this might have worked if it was all wood on that because they're trying to join the stock and the pistol grip and everything into one like, you know, just complete, uh, what do you call that, uh, featureless, featureless rifle. This just makes me sad. So we have to support great groups like the GOA, so the rest of the country doesn't become as cucked as that. Now, this one I have seen before, and I actually do know what it is. Oh, Galil Rifle Israel? Yeah, at some point, maybe. Okay, I know the Galil because uh, well, it's in CS. It's in Counter-Strike, okay. But, uh, wow, 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 wow. It looks like you're going to shoot yourself in the front. Like when you grab it like a shoot. <laughs> so this is a Galil. <laughs> It looks like it's got that thing, uh, like if you're trying to put like the, I guess the, the floor jacks, uh, you're trying to, you know, put down the, the, the floor jacks on like an RV or something like that as a barrel. Uh, it's all just twisty turvy. And apparently it has no gas tube and no piston in it, which that's, uh, that's a feature, I guess. Uh, this is for the Israeli military for marching in formation, specifically for females. This is the titty barrel. I don't know. But <laughs> why <laughs> though? I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it. Yeah, that's literally what that bulge is for. That that's that's it. This is not there's no tactical function to this. And I just love <laughs> that this little uh, nameplate uh, after the filming we learned rifle was built a satire thank fucking Autumn god does not explain any of that it's hanging in a museum clearly and just the english caption is galil rifle israel they explain nothing this is just this is what all galils look like i would love to see somebody try to actually shoot around out of this though just to see how catastrophically it fails when you fully upgrade your starter weapon <laughs> what the f why does it have a pod, like a sniper thing that you put on the ground? It's a fucking pistol! <laughs> Bro, this, this thing probably weighs a lot. Uh, the ba Can you see through the back scope? Why does it have... It has four scopes on it. Three... It has four scopes on it. Why? It's a pistol! <laughs> That's a Barretta as well. I love Barrettas, but it's pretty cool. That appears to be some variant of the M9 Beretta with a really odd looking suppressor on it. So I saw those. It's the suppressor that's got the Picatinny up top because, you know, suppressors don't get hot. Also, I just the idea, uh, if you know what a baffle strike is, a baffle strike for the uninitiated, uh, those who have been lucky enough not to have one, is when the bullet travels out of the barrel into the suppressor, but the suppressor is either non-concentric threads or something's wrong dimensionally and uh, it strikes the baffle and it can blow the front end of your can off. Oh. Um, the one thing you wouldn't want to do is put a bunch of heavy ass shit on the end of your suppressor to make it want to flex downward because that clearly looks like cheap aluminum. I doubt the operator is going for efficiency on this, especially considering the location of his optics. I don't think he's actually trying to see anything. Which ones? I think he is trying to, um, what did the kids say? Meme. See, I don't know if this is cursed or not either. Uh, this is an MG42 uh, with a toilet paper roll. <laughs> hey, obviously this was before the corona. This thing, ex this thing was expensive at some point. The toilet paper, I mean, not the rifle. Shout into the <laughs> place where the belt goes. Shooting Funny gold, is, baby, sure shooting gold. <laughs> toilet paper is any cheaper than having to feed it eight millimeter Mauser anymore. For those people watching this like nine months from now, uh, hopefully you'll remember why that was funny. Now this one I did actually see in the Discord under cursed gun images. And let me just tell you right now that is Patrick goddamn fucking Swayze and this is Red Dawn. No cursed gun images came out of that movie. Fuck you and fuck the horse who rode in on you. You were fucking the horse. So this is a warning shot. Whoever posted this in the Discord, you have six hours to delete this before you're banned. <laughs> Isn't that against the terms of service? Ain't never heard of it. But a little bit of background into uh, the behind the scenes of why this is, could be perceived as cursed. Red Dawn was a pinnacle of filmmaking 
and it is perfect in I every way. Seen it. But it was filmed in 1983, I think it was released in 1984. And back then you really didn't have access to a lot of Soviet weaponry, especially just, you know, Hollywood, especially for a fairly low budget film, all things considered. So they didn't have access to a lot of AKs or RPKs and things like that, which is why you see a lot of like the RPKs are actually just dressed up Valmets. Um, the dishkas that they're using here are not dishkas, they're in fact just kitted up M60s and things. So you see, this is just pretty much an M60 with paddle trigger and a big ass dishka type muzzle brake, which is basically all you need to make this damn thing look like a dishka. It may be an M60 in reality, but it will always be a dishka in our hearts. I've, they I've, actually I did the no same thing for the helicopters is. and the tanks. I'm not gonna oh, make one this- sec, One sec, one sec, one Okay, we're back, we're back. Just like Red Dawn review. I have thought about doing a, uh, people were talking about the Gun Builder React series that I did a, a while back, and uh, we kind of, we dropped it for one reason or another, we just make it all sorts of other different content, but people talked about bringing it back. If you guys want to see uh, Gun Builder Reacts to Red Dawn, I think that would be a lot of fun. So let me know if that's something you guys want to see, or if you have other suggestions for that stuff. I'm really just trying to avoid cursed gun images right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So this mashup look. What is this? A midget M4? <laughs> what the fuck did you do to it? Uh, I mean, okay, this part is normal. From here to the front. Is it normal? What is that? That is that 30 mag? That's not a 30 mag. What? What the fuck did you do to it? looks cursed as balls, but there's an explanation for it. There this is? looks like Eugene Stoner had unprotected sex with a Mac 11. I don't well, know that, that, very mu that very well might have happened. <laughs> that, that is not the backstory of this weapon. <laughs> so this is actually pretty neat. I forget what these are called. Uh, somebody in the comments, I'm sure will be happy to point it out, but these are mashup. It is a mashup of the AR-15 and uh, like the Mac 10, Mac 11 platform, that whole like really cheap, you know, uh, transferable machine gun market pretty much. And so that's why they do it. So there, there are cheaper transferables like Mac 11s and things like that, that, you know, the AKs and ARs might be going for 25,000, 30,000 because pre 1986 transferable machine guns that civilians can own with an NFA tax stamp, very limited market. And they are very expensive and they keep getting pricier by the day. However, there's a lot of submachine guns out there that were just very, very cheap back in the day. A lot of people registered before the 1986 cutoff. So they're, they're cheap, they're, they're expensive guns, but they're cheap for a transferable machine gun. You know, you can get them for a couple grand. The purpose of things like this is so you can use the registered machine gun portion of that Mac 11 and add it to an AR-15 upper so that you can run 5.56 out of a legal machine gun. And okay. But just by having one machine gun lower, you can basically have a lot of other machine gun uppers. So it's a, it's a pretty cool concept. It's a pretty cool way of, of allowing the average civilian uh, who can get an NFA tax stamp and everything, who, who doesn't want to break the bank, you know, spending 150 grand on transferable machine guns, have a bigger collection of transferable machine guns. I think it's kind of cool. But yes, to the untrained eye, this looks cursed as balls. This isn't cursed enough. So it's not cursed. Let's bring things up a notch. Oh no. So a friend actually sent this to me last night. And... But what? <gasps> it's an AR thing. Oh no. Oh, oh. <laughs> and uh, I didn't look altogether cursed. And the, but the word, the longer you look, the worse it gets. Because to me, it just looked like somebody took a head spaced <laughs> front end of an AK and shoved it on, on their AR-15, which we've talked about that before. Like, oh, oh, look, I made a hybrid. No, you didn't. Shut the fuck up. Sit down. You jammed a fucking AR and AK parts kit together like a kid playing Legos and Kinects at the same time. Then I looked a little bit closer. And yes, that kind of is why does, it, why does it have holes in it? Like someone drilled three holes in it. Four holes in it. Why, why did they do that on the bottom? Up, uh, like right above the pistol grip. As it is. And then I look, okay, that? no trigger guard on this AR. What the fuck is up with those pinholes? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> those are supposed to be like very small, tiny pinholes. And these are just like <laughs> giant gaping asshole pinholes. <laughs> they they swish, Swiss cheese the fuck out of this lower. <laughs> I don't know if this is an attempt to demill it. I don't know what's going on with this, but that it was enough of a, a shock when I noticed it that I figured it was worthy of inclusion. <laughs> Yaucho marks.
What the f Okay. Now this part, the wooden wooden thing looks like the small Mosin, like the sawed off Mosin from Tarkov. This looks like a pistol. And this looks like a rifle. Why does it have electrical electric wires coming out? What is happening? What is this? No, actually, what is this? Is it a pistol? Is it a rifle? Is it a is it a carbine? Is it an abomination? Does it shoot? Does it breathe? Okay, so here we have a clearly airsoft M14. Oh, it's an airsoft. Or M1A. I don't know. I've never cared about that weapon system. Fucking sue me. They have an AR-15 lower attached to it for literally no other reason than it seems uh, to use the pistol grip <laughs> as a forward grip because it was easier to use the magwell on this AR lower to bolt it to the bottom of their M14. I'm going with M14. I don't know, and I don't care. Vietnam well, so it's not pistol, it's outrage actual in rifle three, thing. two... Actually, I play Call of Duty as M21 because he's going to stop. Shut the fuck up. I don't care. I really don't care. I think I just ripped into them harder than I've ever ripped into AR, guys. My, my favorite part of this is the obscene mile-high hide over bore because it's not enough to have the Picatinny rail. You have to attach the carry handle to the Picatinny rail and the optic on a riser on top of... Oh, bro, my yeah. fucking... My abs are getting to work out after this video. I swear to God. <laughs> this one I had to talk about. Hey. Oh, it's a... It's a... It's a... It's a Glock down case, right? The, 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 the lower parts, I think that's from a Glock, right? Yep, yeah, it's a Luger. Is this that bad? It'd be more comfortable than the actual Luger thing. Because those are World War II guns, I think. They weren't bad, I don't think. This doesn't look that bad to me. Is it bad? Just because it gets sent to me so often, this is a very bad CGI, whatever this is, like a mashup. This is the Gluger, and I hate it. It is a Glock. But and it's a Luger. Luger. They're not cursed if it's obviously Photoshopped. If it's Photoshopped really well, and I can't tell, and I'm pretty good, then okay, yeah. Okay, maybe that's a cursed gun images. A cut right cur yeah, but it wouldn't be that bad. It would work, right? It would be kind of comfortable as a pistol. Because uh, definitely, the Glock definitely looks a lot more comfortable than the Luger the lower part thing, you know? I don't think it's that bad compared to some of the other ones. Just gun images. Okay. I think this is where that stroke's starting to set in. <laughs> Probably need a you smell toast? I smell toast. What in the Gorbachev is going on here? Okay, so this is... Oh, it's, uh, it, uh, is that Makarov... Uh, Handle thing. They used to make some macros in uh, in here in our bulk area. And they were supposed to be very decent macros. A no. What is no, it? No, 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 no. I don't know what it is. Somebody oh, decided that the Glock 42. It says USA. Two wasn't already bad enough. <laughs> so they added a Makarov grip to it, and in the process, they cut up a perfectly good Bakelite Star Makarov grip. That I would have loved to have. Uh, it, it's it's it, they're nice, they're nice. They feel good, and there's something wholesome about them. And you cut it up and you stuck it on a piece of Austrian Tupperware, and God will never forgive you for that. Okay, God might forgive you. There's kind of a book about that. But God I'm, might forgive you, but I won't. Well, call your mom. <laughs> it's time to get picked up. <sighs> of course he's. Uh, whoa! What the fuck? Okay, so it looks like an AK, but the 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 the, the main tube thing looks weird. What's wrong with it? What is wrong with it? Why why is it like that? The rest of it looks normal, right? I don't understand. I'm not knowledgeable enough about guns, so let's hear it. Let's hear it from the expert. Wearing an NRA hat. First off, I want to say how much I hate this. I really do. I want to say how much I hate it and how much this is stupid and how much I wish I had never seen it. I can't do it. There's a charm about this that I can't describe. Yes, it's a weld build, as it, uh, it appears it's a weld build. Yes, it could use some finish. Yes, it's a little rough around the edges. It's a fucking cap and ball AK. That's kind of neat to me. I don't know, the whole like octagonal barrel coming out the front and he clearly just welded the front sight block and the gas block to it. Okay, like I said, it's a little crude. Grabbing that dong for dear life. 
I think one of my favorite parts about this is he actually kept the black powder, like really elegant black powder trigger there. I'm gonna build one. So yeah, oh, actually, no. that's kind of, I guess that would be I don't like understand. a blur. What does that mean? Gun. A bulk cap AK. What does that mean? Someone explain, please. Image, as you guys have been saying. I don't. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I have to. Fuck. Oh, please don't show it again. Please don't. Uh... I. <laughs> Sid from Toy Story grew up. And he's a gunsmith now. <laughs> More like That's he became a gun. No, I, 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 it's enough internet for me. I'm gonna go live in a cabin in the woods for the next few days to really kind of evaluate life. <laughs> Anyhow, that is enough for me, guys. I appreciate yeah, right. it. Um, I do have <laughs> that, one. That is a very good point to stop. Okay. One more thing I wanted to mention. After this video goes live later on this afternoon, I will put the the details in the description and in the pinned comment. I will be live over at Twitch. Yes, I am gonna be one of those big titty Twitch streamers. Got a new PC rig. Eventually, we are going to be playing Escape from Tarkov. You guys have been asking hey. for it since I teased it a few months ago. I kind of got a lot of stuff going on, but I was willing to make it happen. God forbid, I got to play video games with my friends and things. Yeah. You know, I'm see him here. I would love to see him build guns in Tarkov. That would be so entertaining. Well, I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to do that for you. I think it'll be fun. I've seen a lot of stuff about the game, and it seems very, very realistic and very, very AK-centric. So it should be a lot of fun. Link will be in the description and in the pinned comment. Uh, and I, was... I would also love to see him get moles in man. I would love to see him get moles in man. See you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Don't make me do this again. He has to do it again. Oh, there is a... I was trying to drink the water out of that, but it looked like I went for nothing. For all of the Europeans that are in my comment section, like, why are you Americans so insistent on needing all these weapons of mass destruction? This is why you have so many problems, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, uh, don't care, it didn't ask. You want to know what makes Americans nationalist? Is dumbass European 14-year-olds on the internet talking about, oh, this is clearly why you have so much violence, <laughs> acid attack, car bombing, <laughs> subway stabbing. See, I don't even like talking about politics on the day-to-day, -day, but I think I like it a lot more than talking about cursed gun images. I think that's why I was so, so, so happy to just go straight into it. So this one I did see in the Discord under gun meme review, or not gun meme review, fuck. <laughs> nope, wrong, wrong series, get out of here. Well, he has a gun meme review as well. Okay, well, we definitely need to see more of this. Uh, quick thank you to the Patreons. Okay, oh, that, was, that was amazing. <laughs> uh, Pedro Matias, Kamaska, you know, Rob Better Prince, the SO Aesthetic, Pius Chicken 53, Senior Hilter, Lemon M1, Akma, Dash, Ronic, Nada, James Bizoni. Thank you all for the support. And uh, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time, everybody. Have a nice day. Oh, yeah, we'll be playing some Rim World today, okay?